What's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of Power Platform TV. Today, we're going to talk about customer service workspace and the expression builder. Okay, so when an agent starts a session in customer service workspace, we want to be able to display the correct agent script for that session. So there might be situations where you have multiple agent scripts for your agents that you want your agents to go through. And it may depend on the type of session they are in as to which agent script they should be following. Okay, so we're going to look at some functionality here in Customer Service Workspace that allows us to configure the agent scripts based on what's going on inside the session. So I wrote a blog post about this on my blog, calledasusa.com. Go ahead and check it out if you want to read about it. Uh, we're going to go through the steps in the blog and we'll see some different ways that we can implement this. So let's get right into it. So first thing, I'm going to head over to the Customer Service Admin Center app and that's where we configure everything to do with Customer Service Workspace. And here I have a session template that I've assigned to myself, to my user. And so it's just called test case template. Uh, it applies to the case entity. So when we go into a case, this template is going to open. And inside of this session template, we have two agent scripts that I've configured that we will use. Okay. So these are two different agent scripts. One's called agent script one, the other is agent script two. And first thing, let's just go ahead and take a look at these. So if I jump into one of these, I'm going to click into this one. And we can see here that I have two steps, agent script uh, one, step one, agent script one, step two. Okay, so very self-explanatory. And then if I were to go and look at agent script two, I've done something very similar, uh, agent script two, step one, and, and agent script two, step two. Okay, so that's just to know uh, in this demo which script that we're calling and the steps within the script. Uh, obviously, in the real world, you'd have something that's a lot more applicable to your use case. So, but this is a demo and this is what we're going to be showing. So now that I, uh, now that I've shown those, let's go head back here. And here is where we decide which agent script to display. So we have this enable build expression, right? So if you click on this, click it from no to yes, then that's going to enable this button here, build expression. Let's go ahead and click into this. And now we can build out which agent script we want to show in a given situation. So. You can see here we're in this flow-like designer, basically. We have uh, the first trigger here is start evaluating expression. And there's nothing we need to do here for this, okay? So we can just uh, keep that as it is. And then the next part of this is condition. And basically, the condition is saying, uh, here is where we're going to check the value of something in our session. And then based on that, if it's true, we can go ahead and open uh, a particular agent script and otherwise we're going to open up a different agent script. So here is where we put in the value and I'm going to hop back over to my blog now and just kind of grab some code here. So if we scroll down, uh, this is my example and here, uh, here I have what we're doing is we're going to search for any cases where the subject is called auto drip. Okay, so uh, that's just a field on the on the uh, case entity. So what we can see here is that in order to get the uh, the actual text for this field, we could go ahead and just run a little retrieve multiple here in the browser that would give us the list of the fields that are in the uh, case entity. And this is the one down here we want the subject. Okay. So if I scroll down a little bit, this is this is the this is the uh, text here. So I'm going to copy this. And if I go back over to my expression builder here. Now, what's interesting is if I if I just were to paste this in here, it's kind of interesting. The the right side of this doesn't actually get uh, enabled. And what I've found is if you do the text here on the left, so I'm going to do auto drip, okay, uh, is equal to, and then I just paste in over here on the right um, what we're looking for, okay. So if we take a look at this, uh, this is the what we're saying here is in the so these are slugs. And uh, slugs are used all throughout customer service workspace. And these are basically kind of like variables or parameters or something that uh, get passed around in the background and they, they hold context, okay? And um, and so we're actually, uh, the, the anchor tab here, so that's the first tab that gets opened in a session. That anchor tab is holding this value here. And this is the 
uh, subject ID value, and then we're getting the formatted value. So, you know, if you were to uh, go ahead over here, I'm just gonna show you real quick if I hit F12 uh, to bring up developer tools and then I have this query in here, and this query is just basically uh, grabbing the retrieve multiple for this particular uh, 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 case here. So if I were to run this, it's going to come back with this um, object here, and if I just go and expand it, these are the fields here. Okay, so this is where you can you can find out the field names, and so this is typical kind of a retrieve multiple, and this is where you would. Uh, grab one of these fields if you wanted to do a comparison. Okay, so that's that's all I've done to get that field there, right? So that's coming from the anchor tab, and that's how we wrap it around here. And uh, then what we do is we say, so if the subject is equal to auto drip, uh, if it's true, we're going to add an action here. And here is where we can go ahead and, and uh, select a couple of things. We can either go and, and select a control here, or what we're doing here in our case is we're just going to end this process. We're going to say, let's select an agent script connector and we're going to uh, set default agent script. And you can see here when I expand this, it gives me agent script one or two because it's recognized those are the two agent scripts available. And I'm going to go with agent script two, okay? And uh, you could go ahead and rename this if you want. And I'm just going to rename this call agent script two, okay? So that's in there. And then the false condition is just going to be the opposite. So I go back to customer service tab, agent script connector, set default agent script. And I'm going to select here agent script one. And that's it. So click save and close here. And that's all we have to do. Okay. So that's saved now. It's ready to go. So now if I go over to CSW here, I'm going to X out of this and I'm just going to refresh the page here to make sure that we get down the latest configuration. So now here, if I go over to the customer service agent dashboard and I select uh, one of the cases here, we can see that in this case, the subject is auto drip. So now if we go over to the agent scripts here, we can see that it's picked up the agent script two, right? If I were to go back home here and start another session here with the milk container is not fitting, in this case, the subject is machine parts. And then if I were to go and click here, we're getting agent script one, right? So again, back onto the first one, uh, it's agent script two. And then the second one is agent script one, right? So that's working perfectly. It's picking up the auto drip here. Um, that looks really good to me. So now let's try something else. Let's go back over to our uh, build expression here. I'm gonna click on this and let's try something different. So you can actually use OData within these uh, conditions here as well. And if I go over to my blog again, let's scroll down and grab some OData. So I'm gonna scroll down to the OData queries, and this is the format of the OData here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one, and then we'll do a little test here. So if I go back to the expression builder, I'm gonna paste this OData in here. And what we're seeing here is basically, it basically says, uh, the odata.incident, right? Incident is the case. And then the title, and we're going to filter by incident ID. And if that is equal to the anchor.incident ID, right? So that's coming from the anchor tab, the case ID. Uh, we're going to select the title, okay? And I'm going to go and grab, let's grab this title here. So I'm just going to overwrite this here. So we're going to say if the title is equal to a mineral buildup in water supply, then we're going to run this OData query here to get the title and see if it matches this. Okay, so let's try this out. I'm going to save and close. And that looks good. So now let's go over here. Let's go ahead and refresh this. And, um, and now let's go ahead and test this out. I'm going to click here and we'll click the first case. And we know that this is the one we're looking for with the case title. So if we go over to our agent scripts now, we can see it selected the second agent script again, right? If we were to go ahead and select the second one here where the case title is not equal to a mineral buildup, right? Uh, it's gonna go ahead and the build expression is gonna evaluate and say, let's run the first agent script, agent script one in this case, right? So it looks like that's working very well. Uh, let's try one more thing here. Have an example here where I'm going to go back to the configuration. I'm going to click build expression and I'm going to paste in here. Let's do this. So here what I'm, what I'm saying is if the OData contact address one city, right? So if the city of the contact that's coming from the anchor tab, 
right, is equal to Seattle, right? Um, so I'm going to get rid of this here, and I'm going to put Seattle here on this side. Uh, let's go ahead and save this. So uh, basically, if the contacts city is equal to Seattle, then we want to run the second agent script. Otherwise, we want to run the first one. Okay. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and uh, try this out. I'm going to refresh this again to get the latest configuration to come down. And let's go ahead and click on the customer service agent dashboard. And if I click on this first one here, so we can see this customer here, Claudia Mazanti. If I click on her, we're going to see that her, uh, if I scroll down a little bit here, her city here is Seattle. Okay, so that's the field that we're looking for. And if we go to the agent script, it's picked up that she's in Seattle. And so we display agent script two, right? Um, I didn't have to go to this tab. It, it, it's automatic from the first tab here. It's picked up that she's in, in there. And so uh, it's displaying the correct script there. So if we went back here and we selected the second case in this example, uh, tree research here, if we go to the tree research, tree research is not located in Seattle here, and we should get the uh, Ignis script one appearing, right? So that's basically how that works. If we just head back here, take a quick look again. Um, basically, we can use OData to pull information from various parts of the system, or we can look at the Angular tab fields themselves, and we can do comparisons here in the condition and then decide which agent script to show to users inside of CSW. Hope you all enjoyed. So that's it guys. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and of course, check out my blog at carldesouza.com. Thank you.